Okay, this is my Pelican Catch 120. I purchased it a couple of years ago. Uh, I enjoy fishing out of it. I like being able to stand up. And um, it, it's pretty stable. Plenty of, plenty of room in it. Uh, I made a few modifications to it this winter. Um, first of all, I extended the assist strap to help you stand up. Made it longer by about 10 inches. Just a ratchet strap. So to loop into it. But most importantly is I four-folded it down here and bolted through it. That way it's just not one piece of fabric. It's It's got four pieces of fabric down there. It shouldn't go anywhere. Um, other thing I did was uh, I added a rod holder. Uh, that way I can spin it out and I control with it. Kind of keep an eye on the rod. Uh, I added a... Um, a, a oar grip kind of locks it right in place there you know instead of always trying to you know latch it or keep it up front here it just it stays there and that's it it's out of the way um, another thing I did was uh, I added an anchor pulley to it goes pretty much the full length of the kayak um, I needed to modify it a little bit it, I had to put a piece of uh, three-quarter inch AZEC behind it to kind of bump it out or else I, I wouldn't have been able to get at it underneath this. So, but it, you know, it snaps out and then, you know, it goes down all the way to the back or all the way to the front, whatever you want. Keep your face in the right direction. You can also lock it so the line doesn't go anywhere. So, it's a, it's a nice little feature to have. Uh, I have 50 feet of anchor line really didn't know what to do with it so uh, I just I kind of strung it around here that'll have to do for now until I find something better to do with it uh, I uh, I mounted my fish finder to the front to the front here just uh, drilled a hole put a rubber grommet there try to keep everything watertight and um, you know put the battery up front here now uh, one of the biggest uh, modifications I did was I added a trolling motor to it. Just a small 17-pound Minn Kota. I think the motor is about 30 years old. It's I've just had it kicking around. So what I did was I took a piece of aluminum and uh, I, I mounted it to the top of the kayak here. Uh, I welded a piece of, uh, of tubing, aluminum tubing to it. I added some gussets. And um, I was originally just going to mount the trolling motor to here, but trying to make everything a little lighter, you know, eliminate weight. So I, I got rid of this thing here and I drilled a hole through the tubing and just put the trolling motor right through, right through the tubing. Okay. Um, I took the head, head off. I cut probably about a foot off the top of this and the, the controls that are usually in the, in the, the head here I, I put up front uh, if I don't want to use the trolling motor I figured you know what let's make it detachable just a trailer trailer hitch uh, a trailer plug male and female so that's all in there okay um, in order to steer it I had a shifting cable from uh, from an old truck and uh, I just I, I mounted it to it, a piece of threaded rod, runs down and along, and uh, uh, this is actually a, a paintbrush handle, but hey, it works, what the hell. Um, you know, forward and back, it's pretty smooth, you know. I got, uh, I don't know, I got probably, I don't know, 110, 120 degrees of, of angle on it, so... It should, it should be enough. Uh, another thing I added was just, uh, I, it's just a, uh, it's just a battery, uh, a jumper cable clamp, but, uh, you know, you clamp onto a, a, you know, branch or some lily pads, that way you don't drift away instead of dropping anchor. And uh, with this clip, I can adjust it. I have about seven feet of line. I can adjust it. Um, uh, as far as controlling the trolling motor, I made up this thing here. It's uh, it's watertight. 
and all it is is I think it's it's some type of food jar, plastic food jar. Um, but uh, you know, four four speeds forward, two in reverse. Sits right there in the scupper. Uh, I made it so I can unplug it. So when I don't want to use the motor, I ran the wires through the hull. But um, it, it should work pretty good. Uh, another thing I did for uh, my next project on this is uh, I added a toggle switch. And uh, I'm going to add a couple lights. I'm going to put a light up here. I'm going to put a light underneath the seat. So when I go night fishing, I have some in the hull visibility. And I may also put a rear beacon on in case I decide to take this thing out on the ocean. Not quite sure about that yet. But that's the modifications I've done to it so far. Uh, I have a few more I need to do. I need to figure out a way to stabilize the battery in there so it doesn't you know fall all around and maybe disconnect the wires. Also besides adding the lights I also need to figure out a way to make this motor rise up so when I come into the shore uh, I'm not dragging but uh, and then I want to also add this hatch here and also this uh, 13 inch hatch here as well but for now we're getting there all right till next time